Hello guys. It's Lisa. I hope everybody is doing great. Hope you're enjoying this time with your family. I know that I am not a very good uh, homeschool teacher, so that's one thing I've learned. Uh, I guess Jacob doesn't go back to school oh, till oops till like the 24th of April or something so far. I don't know. They keep backing it up week by week. Uh, my husband is temporarily laid off. He works at the Ford plant here in Kentucky. All right, so I'm going to do... Kind of like a Dutch pour, but I'm gonna kind of put my lines like this, and then like this, and then blow it this way and blow it that way. So I am using Artist Loft Ready Mix paints. I've not ever done a Dutch pour with these paints. I'm also using 24 karat gold from Deco Art, and I am using three of the interference colors from Color Art. I'm using interference gold, interference violet, and interference blue. So I'm going to add them in there too. So we're just going to see if we can't make something beautiful so let's get started I have already put down a base coat of black and I just dropped two little dog hairs in here Ugh. off of my shirt I would presume all right, so um, first I'm going to start out with some Prussian blue because it's one of my favorite colors. So I'm going to take it up like that and like that. Okay, this is just uh, playing around. I've not ever I've never done a Dutch pour with this kind of design. Oops, this is the Color Art Interference Blue. <laughs> let's do let's put some red in there The red, I don't have a interference red mixed up, so I'm going to put the uh, gold, interference gold on the red. All 
Um, do some purple. Oops. Kind of slappy there, huh? It's okay because it's all going to get blown out. Now on the purple, we'll put the interference eyelet. This is a lot of paint for these little canvases, but... Um, I do want a little bit of turquoise in there just to brighten it up a bit. Oops. Because these are very dark colors. This is the aqua green. <laughs> All right, I think that is it, except for the Deco Art 24 karat gold. This Deco Art 24 karat gold is just mixed with Floetrol and water. This is really pretty. Just kind of string it in different parts. All right. And I'm going to put some more bling it gold, the interference gold, throughout the whole thing. All right, guys. So I'm going to hit it with a torch, pop some of these bubbles. Then I'm going to use my hair dryer and whoosh, whoosh. so we'll see how that all works. So here's your noise warning. I don't know, I'll have to try it on low first. I don't know how thick these paints are. Now I gotta put it on high. got a little bit messed up because I had them too close together. But it's okay. Because I like it. Just want to get it over the edge there.
don't want to get my Bob Ross shirt in here. So, I have to do my corners and my sides when we'll let them run down a bit. And then if they don't match up completely, then I'll just probably just paint them black because I already put black on them. But because it didn't go over all the way. But I can mess with these off camera. So let me take you in on a little close up because these look pretty cool. Pretty cool. Actually, I'm going to bring you on this side and do it. All right, hang on, let me grab you. And I'm going to put you on pause for just a second. Okay. Now I'll bring you in. Let me get to the side. Excuse my ring light. See my sides, I'm going to probably use my airbrush. Just get them more even. But... I really love these. Okay, here's the first one. I'm really curious to see how these dry because it's the Artist Loft premixed mixed with primary element stuff. Look at the purples doing some fun stuff. Uh, let me turn down this light here. It's a very bright light. Okay. Then you'll be able to see the interference in the 24 karat gold. Look at that. I love the red and the teal. Let's go over to the other one. See, as we're sitting here, it's doing some fun stuff. I don't have any silicone in here. I bet it would be really pretty if I used silicone. Maybe I'll try it on my next two. Those are so cool. I love how they turned out. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe to my channel. And uh, come join us on our Facebook page, United We Pour with Tammy and Lisa. And... In a future video, I'm going to be doing uh, How Did They Dry and go over a bunch of pieces that I've done. So I'm just going to let these do their thing because as they sit, they're just doing more and more fun stuff. So, all right, guys. Look at that. This, I'll, make, I'll dip some pop sockets in there. Use up that paint. Very pretty. Actually, hang on one second. Okay, I just grabbed a couple of them. So yeah, off the strip off, I'll be able to probably pull a really nice skin for some jewelry. But I have these little pop socket things. And I'm going to just 
dip it like such. See how pretty? Ooh, that's gorgeous. Oh, that's so pretty. And I also have white ones. So we'll see how the white one does. Go right here. Ooh. Look at that. All them interference. Oh, gorgeous. I might pull a couple more off of there. <sighs> Gotta pop the bubbles. All right, guys. So, it's the gorgeous little pop sockets. See how different they look? Same colors, but with a black background. And then the white. All right, get, look at, look at how. Just in the couple seconds, I was doing the dipping. All right, guys, thanks for watching again. I just said that. I'm saying it again. Okay, I will see you on the next one. Bye, guys. Okay, guys, here is a quick video of uh, the dried result. Um, it still looks wet because the artist loft ready to pour paints are shiny, they're glossy. So, some of it's real glossy. See, you can see like that red, super glossy. And then the interference is not, so it's kind of cool. It looks like there's a texture on it, but there's not. So I will put a coat of resin on this one for sure. But this one, I went to move it yesterday, and look. Stuck my effing finger right in it. Ain't that a bitch? Ugh. I'm going to try to take like a wet um, paintbrush and kind of see if I can fix it. If not, maybe I'll put like an embellishment there or something. <laughs> but I love how they both turned out. And uh, again, thanks for watching. These are super cool. They can be hung. They're like a six inch, hang on here. They're six by six cradle boards. So, they can be hung in a diamond, whichever way you wanna hang them. So yeah, so thanks for watching. Bye guys.